following presentation is for mature audiences only. Who are you? He's a fine man. All hell is broken loose. He's a great broadcaster. He's a very powerful guy. Absolutely brilliant. Feared by men, adored by women. He's a smart boy. It's patriotic. It's no big deal. It's the end of the world. I might as well tell you now. He's a monkey. And how you doing, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome into another edition of The Wild Side with Eric Clark. I am your host, Eric Clark, saying thank you for taking time out of your day to hang out with us on the east side of Nashville. Make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel, hit that notification button for the live stream, smash the like button for the algorithm. If you have a band, song, or a video, something you want me to do a rant on or break down, head over to Discord, left-hand side, YouTube reaction request, drop a link, a brief description, I'll get to it when I can. Thank you to Connect 200 Music to See and Aunt Betty's Nut Butter. If you would like to help support the channel and help the channel grow, everything from Patreon to PayPal, including our social media links, are down below in the description. Today's Discord suggestion is coming from Yuha or Juha. I, I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly. He said, hey man, check out this band from Finland, I believe, from back in 2000. They are called Borknagar. I don't know anything about them. I'm literally just clicking this link and going. So I'm relying on you, my Sherpas, to guide me up this mountain of new music that you are giving me. So be my Sherpas. Let me know down below everything I need to know about Borknagar and the track Colossus or anything you think I need to know about the band down below in the comments. It is Colossus Borknagar suggested on Discord by Yuha. It's on the wild side. Here we go. Sorry, man. That opening riff reminded me of, um, I can't complain it. I'll get it. Bad religion. It's a, it's, I can't get it, but it's 21st century digital boy. I like it.
There you go. Bork Nagar. Colossus is the name of the track, as suggested, Yuha, sorry, uh, by Yuha. I like it. <clears throat> Excuse me. I couldn't watch the video. That thing had more cuts than a, than a goth kid's forearms, man. I mean, that was like, wow. Okay. Um, the song itself, speaking of gothic, not that type of gothic, but that was a very interesting progressive gothic metal track and when i say gothic i don't mean you know dressed in black and all that that's i don't mean the the cultural um dress mannerisms gothic what i mean is architecture what i mean is um historical that is a that is a gothic track that is a um old school vibe with really clean modern progressions the vocals are really nice um the dude's vocals are really well textured and they stay within their frame and even even with the screams i I talk about this with the yelling and the growling in songs that you need to be very careful because what these do is they put a ceiling on your music they they do um i'm just speaking pragmatically so if you're going to use that type of vocal in your track, you need to do so sparingly and be careful with it because if not, it can tend to, to create a different type of a vibe. This is a really good progressive mix here. It really is. They've got that doom sound in it. They've got the metal sound. Those guitars are bringing in this wonderful thrash vibe. But I think the standout for me in this track is the subtle drumming. He changes rhythm probably six times in this track. You don't even hear it. It, it. it all makes sense. Everything is layered properly. So when the changes come, everything ebbs and flows properly through the track. And I think what makes this progressive, I'm doing this, I'm sorry. Uh, the thing that gives this really that progressive anchor is the keyboard. So when the keyboard is there, it's it's really this just below the surface, simmering, progressive tone that stays through the track. So when the guitars and the bass are are doing their metal and thrash vibe, the drum and the keys are weaving this really cool connectivity through the track. So it ties everything together. So the tones that are coming from the guitars are harmonizing with the tones coming from the vocals. All of that is being perpetuated by the drum and the keys. And, the, and again, I, I have to say it, those drums were really subtle, very subtle. The, those, those fills and rolls, you could, barely, you could barely tell they were happening. They happened quick. They happened um, very clean. You know, there was, sometimes you can hear, you can hear it. You can hear the, the drums trying to catch up with the drums, if that makes sense. Here you have a drummer in complete control and looking forward. When drummers look forward, which is the which is the really good drummers out there, they're looking forward. They're they're already creating their next exchange in their head, so they're building to it. And he does so with such ease and such subtlety that you don't really notice it unless you can strip that layer down in your head and really focus on those drums, which is what I was doing. Aside from my comment about the. Uh, you know, more cuts than an emo kid's forearm or goth kid's forearm, whatever, uh, that doesn't take away from the track. It really doesn't. It's very well layered. Again, those growls and the, the aggression that's in the track is used perfectly. The track builds, slams into you, and then goes back into harmonies. So even though there's growl and doom and really dark, heavy tones here, they're still harmonizing with those higher register life bright air colors that are coming through the vocals, the guitar, and even those keys a little bit. So thank you, Yuha, for that. Um, that was that was a really good track, dude. That was straight out of a Crow soundtrack. That was really well done. Bork Nagar. Know absolutely nothing about them, so let me know down below with everything I need to know about Bork Nagar. And if you, like Yuha, have a suggestion for a band, song, or a video, Hit me up over on Discord, left-hand side, YouTube reaction requests, 
read the pinned message, drop a link a brief description. I'll get to it when I can. All of our social media is linked down in the description, including ways to help the channel grow and contribute from Patreon to PayPal. Thank you to Connect 200 Music to see an Aunt Betty's Nut Butter. Make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel. Hit that notification button. Smash the like button. Thank you for taking time out of your day to hang out with us on the east side of Music City. Make sure you're looking out for each other. Make sure you're looking out for your neighbor. Try to do at least one good thing a day. I am Eric Clark, and this is The Wild Side. (laughs) 